hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of editing that means uh, i will edit this photo and i'll make a preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description so how to edit this type of photo properly i'm pressing controller command j for the new copy of this layer so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and from here i'll use the plugins which is the camera raw filter for this one i do use that for the preset like that uh, if you make the preset in this camera filter you can use that preset in your lightroom as well and this one easy to share to our other friends and other stuff and uh, this one is uh, easy to um, like navigate all the panels and control all the panels from here you are getting all the um, tools over here hand tool and uh, here is the color balance or white balance if i press over here you will get another dimension or another portion so you can get all the features over here and if i go to the hand tool all the panel will appear like a um, basic panels here is two or three portions here is auto portions and default um, uh, two portions if i go to the auto portion or default portion you are getting the things like that which is the exposure contrast highlight shadow whites blacks texture clarity dehaze vibrance and the saturation the next panel you are getting the tone curve and after that detailing hsl or adjustment panel and the split toning and the lens correction effects and calibration and the last of that you can make the uh, other um, like uh, here is some preset the by default preset and bnw and uh, you are getting the by default preset over here like uh, lightroom and you can uh, make the preset from here as well from here i'll take a preset from the creative portion and i'll edit that preset like this okay fine and now i'll edit that preset you have that assumption to edit the preset from that from here i'll increase the vibrance and saturation like this and the shadow a little bit blacks or dehaze a little bit okay nice and the warm i'll make it a little bit warm okay that's fine and the hsl panel here is the hue saturation saturation of the aqua and blue i'll increase and the luminance of the aqua and blue i'll increase it will give the lights on the face and other uh, not light in areas and here the two portion in a detail portion sharpening and noise reduction i'll add some little bit noise reduction it will give the noise free image to you and detail if you need you can use some sharpening and the hue aqua blue i'll make the blue color like this and the aqua color like this that's good and from the effects i'll add a little bit vignetting minus five or six that's fine and then here is the calibration portion you can add the calibration the red primary color will be like that and green primary like this and the blue primary that's good so before image and after image before and after so from here you can use that things to make yeah that's fine now go to the split toning that is the things you can use the highlight color and shadow color from here so if you add some saturation and then just over the panel okay that's good in the hue i'll make the hue that means the shadow color shadow should be like this okay and the highlight color should be like this and shadow you have to adjust the shadow color before and after before and after so highlight color and shadow color okay that's fine and from this portion i'll make it warm type that's fine and add some contrast from here i'll add some contrast and highlight i'll make it down the shadow will be like this and the whites that's good and from the 
like tone curve i'll go to the blue portion i'll make the blue like that and the green don't make it uh, too much otherwise it will be overexposed and rgb just lock over here and add some grammar and little bit highlights okay that's fine let's see before one and after one in this image the shadow and highlight is not prominent the flat image but in this image you are getting the shadow highlight and all the steps is good and if you need you can change up the hue from here if you want to change the hue of the blue color and the green color and the aqua color you can adjust all the place and all the things like this i'll make this one okay that's fine the before and after now i'll save that settings the night type photography or giving the name night okay and hit okay you are getting the nice look before and after you're getting amazing look actually and now i'll go to the filter again and nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of the all plugins please check out my video description here going to the cross processing lots of method from here which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know and which one is your preference okay i'll use this one l02 and the strength i'll make this one a little bit down minus uh, like 25 percent is good for this and hit okay it's taking time to load it up and providing the final outputs yeah let's see the before and after you are getting the polished and nice image and you can use that preset for your photographs or your photoshop and the lightroom as well from here i'm using some right uh, levels from here and add this and this and let's see the before and after now this one is the full fill for the editing so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you want to get the download link of the preset and plugins and resource files please check out my video description and don't forget to share with your friend and hit the like button until the next video i am in 7 is signing out today stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye